just over 4,000 miles away, we find a vivid spectacle of unparalleled loveliness, the sun-drenched islands of the West Indies. And in Jamaica, we take a look at life on one of the island's most fascinating settings, the banana plantation. Each banana plant, and it's a herbaceous plant, not a tree, bears only one single stem of bananas. On emerging from the bud, the tiny bananas turn downwards, but as they grow, they turn outwards and up towards the sun. Although there is only one stem or bunch of the fruit on a plant, this is made up of anything from six to 12 clusters, or hands, each with 12 to 23 fingers. It's quite a lot of bananas. At harvesting time, the plants are felled with razor-sharp machettes and the stems lowered with the utmost care to the ground to be carried off by porters, apparently unconcerned at the 40-odd pounds of fruit on their heads. These days, the plants are cultivated to a system, but as far back as 327 BC, the armies of Alexander the Great found them growing wild in India, where they became known as the fruit of the wise men. Today, because of their popularity throughout the world, bananas have become an important industry in Jamaica, providing work for thousands of inhabitants. Notice, by the way, that tickets are issued for each stem. At the end of the day, the number of tickets collected represents a man's earnings. At every stage, great care is taken to avoid damaging the fruit. The trailers, for example, are lined with what is known as trash, a mixture mainly comprised of old banana plant leaves. The trash, incidentally, is also used to cover the fruit to prevent it ripening too quickly. At the washing stage, a selector examines each stem and puts on one side anything that is not absolutely perfect. The bananas are washed first in a solution of sulphate of soda, washed again, and then placed in perforated diathene bags. A special paste mixture is applied to either end of the stalk to prevent stem rot, which could eventually cause the fingers to fall off. Although this crop is ready for shipment, the work on the plantation is far from over. For all the year round, there are jobs like pruning, fertilizing, weeding and irrigation, as well as the constant battle against such hazards as soil pests and wind-blown fungus. Notice that the rail trucks are driven straight onto pontoons which will draw alongside the ship where they are loaded straight into holds and where the fruit is once again checked and sorted. It's interesting to note that even when the fruit is eaten in the tropics, it is not allowed to ripen on the plant, being cut down green and ripened afterwards. And in the holds of banana boats like the SS Camillo, controlled temperatures ensure they arrive in England 10 days later, still a bright green in color to be ripened later. And so every five to six weeks, back in England, the Camillo loads approximately 10 million bananas a tribute to the men who've worked so hard to reap nature's bounty.